Will it rain on my Myrtle Beach vacation? This is a question we get all the time here in Myrtle Beach. I'm Julia with Vacation Myrtle Beach and we're here to help you navigate the somewhat misleading local weather forecast that you might see before your vacation. If you're like most people, you've probably been checking the forecast before your vacation to see what the weather's going to be like. And you may be surprised to see that there is a chance of rain every single day with no sun in sight. <gasps> we realize how alarming this can be and we certainly understand, but we're here to let you know why you don't need to trust that forecast at face value. We know the reasons that you book a Myrtle Beach vacation. Number one, the beach. Number two, sun. And number three, sun on the beach. It's certainly understandable that this weather forecast is going to look like it's going to ruin all of your plans. You might even be looking at all the things you can do inside in case it rains, or you might even be thinking about canceling your vacation. But we're here to let you know, don't cancel, don't change your plans. You can certainly have some backups for some indoor activities, but we're here to let you know why you can continue your vacation as planned. Make sure you stick around until the end for some bonus rare rainy day activities for your vacation here in Myrtle Beach. Number one, chance of rain every day. That's right, if you open your weather forecast anytime during the summer in Myrtle Beach, it's probably gonna show 20 or 30% chance of rain every single day. This can seem like it's going to ruin your whole vacation, but keep in mind that 20 to 30% chance means there's less than a third chance that it might rain once during the day. Honestly, being a local, we can tell you that usually it's not gonna rain at all, it's gonna be sunny, and if it does rain, it's gonna be here and gone real quick. Here is an example of a beach day that called for 30% chance of rain. Check it out, no rain. And here's Ed Piotrowski from our local weather channel, WPD, to tell you more about it. Hi everyone, I'm Ed Piotrowski. I'm the Chief Meteorologist at the ABC station in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And you know, one of the questions I often get asked by vacationers, once they've looked at the weather on their app is, does it really rain every day in Myrtle Beach? And the answer is absolutely positively no. Our weather is often dictated by what we call the sea breeze. And here's how that actually happens. During the course of the day, the land heats faster than the water, so the air begins to rise pretty quickly during the morning hours just away from the immediate coast. And as that air rises, it eventually will create a few showers and storms, nothing widespread. They're mostly scattered, which means most people don't see any rain. During the course of the late morning and early afternoon, the sea breeze becomes stronger, so the cooler and denser air rushes inland, and it pushes the showers and storms away from the immediate coast. So if you see a 30 or 40% chance of showers hours and storms in the forecast. That's typically late morning, early afternoon and scattered, meaning of course that most of you don't get any rain at all. And really for most of the afternoon into the evening hours, this is what it looks like along the Grand Strand. Sunshine with blue skies and a nice breeze and any thunderstorms developing farther to the west. So there you have it. For the most part, it stays pretty sunny in Myrtle Beach all summer long. Number two, is this weather forecast even accurate? Yes, that is something you should be asking yourself when you're looking at it. Is it a forecast that's really far out? It's probably going to change. The weather can change by the hour, the day, even the minute here in Myrtle Beach. So looking too far out, you may just get worked up over nothing. And keep in mind where you're getting your weather information from. A huge bonus tip from us is to download a local weather app local to here in Myrtle Beach, such as the WPD WX weather app. And this is because it's loaded, the information is loaded by real meteorologists with real data, as opposed to a computer updating a national app that doesn't know one thing from the next. Number three, it's actually sunny here a lot. We average 215 sunny days a year here in Myrtle Beach. Now that's a lot to look forward to. And now we have our bonus tips for where you can go if it does rain here in Myrtle Beach during your vacation. This is going to be pretty rare that you'll have a total washout day during your vacation, but it's good to have backup plans just in case. Keep in mind, these places will probably be more busy on a rainy day in Myrtle Beach, so be prepared to wait a little bit longer. Number one, your resort's on-site amenities. Start with where you are right now. Check out the indoor pool. If your resort has an indoor arcade or other indoor amenities, check those out first and you won't even have to leave the resort. Number two, Wonderworks. Wonderworks is located at Broadway at the beach and they have over 100 interactive exhibits all located inside. It's a great option to spend your time indoor during a rainy day. Number three, Ripley's Aquarium. Also located at Broadway at the beach, you might even get a chance to see a mermaid or a penguin while you're there. 
Number four, fun warehouse. You can go roller skating, play laser tag. There's so many fun things you can do inside there. It's another great option for a rare rainy day in Myrtle Beach. Number five, check out a show. Go to Alabama Theater, Pirate's Voyage, Medieval Times. There are so many shows here in Myrtle Beach you can't go wrong with whichever one you pick. Did you have a similar experience of booking a Myrtle Beach vacation and seeing rain all over the forecast before you arrived? Tell us how it went, tell us what happened in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more tips and tricks and information about your Myrtle Beach vacation.